to you who are tired and drained with work, personal issues, and finances. I hope you know that it's okay to feel lost at times. You have been working day and night to see the unfolding of your dreams. And I'm telling you, it will happen. You'll be successful one step at a time. I see the way you are trying your best not to give up and not to lose hope for things you are praying for. But if you feel like it's already way too heavy, know that it's okay to rest. You are not going to be at your absolute best all the time. You are going to experience trials. You are expected to ask for help. So you can be stronger in faith, humble in heart, and compassionate in spirit. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with God. You can stop pretending in His presence. Life is not a race. Whether you have been productive or you took your time to rest today, know that you are doing just fine. If losing your plans means going after what God wants for you, then by all means surrender it. For in Him, all your losses are all your biggest breakthroughs. There were days you thought you won't make it because of too much worries, fears, and anxieties. Thank God for better days. One day, you will look back and see that your scars become your strength and your wounds become your stories. It's your fear of the Lord that makes you beautiful. Father God, I pray you cover me with your peace. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hi guys! What's up? Good day to all of you, especially to our beautiful instructor, Miss Peppa Bigwit. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself to you. I am Crystal Jane Espusmian and I am 21 years of age and I live in Poblacion Marcos at Tubig, Sambuanga del Sur. And I just want to flex my family. We are 5 members in my family including me. I am native to Pagadian City and currently I am pursuing Bachelor of Science in Nursing in J.H. Lilia State College, Pagadian. And my graduation is about to complete in the next couple of years. Currently, I want to secure a job with Marcus Atubig Regional Hospital as one of their frontliner or registered nurse. My long-term goal is by gaining work experience of 5 to 7 years in the field of nursing. I wish to work in a senior position, contributing to the betterment of my workplace and society. I am a self-motivated and disciplined soul. I am always keen to upskill myself by learning new things whenever I get a chance. My strengths are my analytical approach, my human touch to the situation, my approachable communication and presentation skills. I believe in being realistic. In my free time, I enjoy spending time with friends, sometimes cooking, listening to music, doing drama, reading, traveling, and playing outdoor sports. And one thing for sure, I am a simple girl who loves to hanging around with my spiritual family and friends. And I am also a kind of approachable friend that he can have. And that's a little information about myself. Part 1. Why I have enrolled nursing. I chose nursing as a career because I love learning new things. As a nurse, I am always challenging myself to keep current on medical trends and training so that I can provide the best care to my patients. Dealing with patients and their families and helping them through what is a bad, a difficult time for them is extremely satisfying for me. And one thing is for sure, I wanted to do something in my career that is challenging, interesting, and makes a difference in people's lives daily. In the nursing profession, you deal with many aspects of patient care and I enjoy the variety in the routine.
of purposive communication in nursing. The studies show that good communication between nurses and patients have many benefits. First, it greatly contributes to the ability to provide patients with individualized care. Those needs include that feelings of safety, love, and confidence of all which are important during a patient's treatment and recovery. An effective communication, both intra-hospital and inter-hospital, is important for health care providers to protect their patients, save on costs, and increase day-to-day -day operating efficiency. Meanwhile, patients benefit from increased access to their medical histories, which reduces chances of medical errors. That is why communication is the most important component of our work with patients. It is the cornerstone of our interaction with people. A good and an effective exchange between people helps them see what the other person thinks and how he or she feels. And that would be all. Thank you. Keep safe. God bless.